Chers amis du peuple iranien, mes amis et moi sommes heureux d'être rassemblés ici pour vous annoncer que 270 membres du Parlement européen, qui représentent les 28 États membres de l'Union européenne, qui sont issus de tous les groupes politiques du Parlement, ont apporté leur soutien à une déclaration commune sur les droits de l'homme en Iran. Nous bénéficions également du soutien de six vice-présidents du Parlement européen. Le fait qu'autant d'eurodéputés députés se soient mobilisés est un grand message de solidarité que nous adressons au peuple iranien. Cela signifie que nous sommes tous à vos côtés, que nous partageons vos souffrances et que nous allons continuer à nous battre pour vos droits. Cela fait maintenant trois ans depuis l'arrivée au pouvoir du soi-disant modéré président Rouhani. Et jusqu'à présent, plus de 2500 personnes ont été pendues sur ordre de son gouvernement. C'est le plus grand nombre d'exécutions ordonnées en Iran en 27 ans. En outre, la situation des femmes et des minorités n'a cessé d'empirer et il continue de souffrir à cause de lois discriminatoires, injustes et cruelles. Alors nous posons la question, où est la modération Qu'en est-il de toutes ces promesses qui ont été faites et des améliorations annoncées depuis que les soi-disant réformistes sont arrivés au pouvoir La réalité, la triste réalité, est que le régime iranien reste aujourd'hui encore une théocratie brutale et répressive qui exerce la pire violence contre son propre peuple. Cela doit changer. Et c'est la raison pour laquelle nous sommes ici, fiers d'apporter notre soutien à l'opposition démocratique. Nous avons récemment invité la chef de l'opposition, Mme Mariam Rajavi, au Parlement européen. Nous sommes convaincus que le mouvement qu'elle dirige est un mouvement réellement démocratique et indépendant et qu'il est porteur d'espoir pour un Iran libre dans un avenir proche. Et par ailleurs, nous sommes fermement résolus à exiger de l'Union européenne qu'elle conditionne la poursuite de ses relations avec l'Iran à un net progrès sur les droits de l'homme et à l'arrêt des exécutions. Je vais maintenant passer la parole à quelques-uns de mes éminents collègues qui ont souhaité vous adresser un message au nom des 270 députés européens que nous représentons. You have the floor. Thank you. Well, I just want to say how pleased I am that we have over 270 members of the European Parliament and that they represent all the political groups and all the 28 member states. We have all signed this statement deploring the current level of human rights in Iran and calling for improvements to happen. Um, I think particularly I want to call on the High Representative, Mrs. Morgherini, to do more to speak out for human rights and especially against the executions and particularly against the repression of women. It's so important that women stand up for the rights of other women. I'm a great supporter of Mariam Rajavi. She has done so much to pursue a platform of secularism and against the oppression of women that we are seeing. So I'm a big supporter of her. And because of that, I'm very pleased that I can go to Paris um, on the 9th of July to take part in a conference and to show so our solidarity and my solidarity for Mariam Rajavi and for all the Iranian resistance movement to stand up for the human rights of everyone and especially the rights of women. Thank you. you like to go first? Um, thank you, Gerard, and also Anthea. Um, the support of over 270 members of the European Parliament for democracy in Iran does give a clear message to the theocratic rulers in Iran that we, as representatives of the people in Europe who have elected us, we will defend the European values of democracy, women's rights, and the rights of religious and ethnic minorities. So we won't have business as usual. 
I am particularly concerned about the situation of Iranian women. New, repressive regulations are being applied against women and the way they dress. Recently, more than 7,000 plainclothes policemen, who were also called the morality police, they've been stationed in the capital, Tehran, to watch for women. This is unacceptable. To conclude, I should add that I have full sympathy with the Iranian opposition leader and great admiration too for Maryam Rajavi, whom I've met several times. And in our joint statement today, we've referred to Mrs Rajavi's 10-point plan, which is a very good basis for a free Iran. Uh, good morning. Uh, first of all, I would like to thank uh, Gerard for uh, holding this uh, press conference and my colleagues from the European Parliament. And also, I am also happy to be one of the 270 uh, MEPs that uh, have agreed to sign this statement. Uh, I believe this is a very important statement uh, to support uh, uh, Iranian people against the suffering uh, regime of the mullahs. It was also a uh, very much satisfaction that uh, we are not very much uh, satisfied with the way the, our governments in Europe deal with the issue on Iran. We cannot uh, uh, accept uh, business before human rights. And this is a crucial point for us. Before we go in any further uh, involvement with uh, uh, Iran, we have to uh, take care of human rights and they have to be respected there in Iran. Um, I would also like to say that um, in, in, in order to show our appreciation for the work that Mrs. Marian Rajavi and the opposition have been done in Iran, I will be uh, in the 9th of July at the rally at the 9th of July and um, I hope that um, this will create a movement, a bigger movement of change in Iran. Iran has to be free of the mullahs, has to be free of oppression. So we are all working for a free and more, demo more democratic, democratic Iran, which is not, and a country that, a regime that does not kill their own citizens. It's unacceptable to have a state like this in the 21st century. Thank you. As already mentioned, uh, we are a strong group of 270 MEPs of all political groups in the European Parliament and also of all member states. Uh, we are not happy about all current uh, EU's approach towards Iran, knowing that human rights and funda fundamental democratic principles are neglected. We think human rights must be on the top of the EU's demands in dealing with Iran. This is why we always have supported and will continue to support the democratic Iranian opposition. This is why we support Mrs. Uh, Maryam Rajavi's plan for a free and democratic Iran where there is no more death sentences and women's rights and minority rights and all basic principles of a democratic society are fully respected.